You know, I uh, I got to tell Max Planck uh, University over there that they, they need to contact me because they're making a big mistake. I sent them all this stuff about mud fossils long ago, several times, uh, knowing that they were digging in mud and looking for this and that and, and telling them about how mud fossils preserve and they never contacted me back. Well, they're digging now and they're just scraping mud off the floor and thinking that that's the mud fossils. Well, it is because they'll find DNA there, absolutely, but they're digging the, peep, the person, right? They're digging right through them probably. Because this right here, that's a fingertip. That's a fingertip. You know, I don't know if you can see that black, whoops, you can see that black pattern in there or not. But this is a fingertip, and it was uh, DNA tested, and it's 100% human, and they blow out the side, and the blood blows out, and all this stuff. And these are all human, uh, not necessarily human, but they're all creatures. And there's, no, well, here's a, here's a goose, and this goose, no question whatsoever, that is a goose. You see the feathers in his head and everything. See, I don't know if you can see the feathering pattern, but you can see into his eye and the whole thing. It's it's it is a goose. Now these and this is Triassic rock and that same pattern of fabric is on mud fossils and that is the coating which normally you consider that fascia. But anyway, my point is is these guys are digging through all this stuff clay. Well, the clay is the flesh. They could be just digging the, the person right out of there and going right through them. Because I saw that happen and on a show and I'm screaming. They, 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 they're saying, yeah, you got to get all that red clay out of there. And I'm going, it's the guy's body. It's the guy's body. But, you know, they just kept digging out. And they found this brown old nasty bone that was still in there, but it was really just destroyed. You see, this is what happens to them. They, that's not dirt inside. See that? That's, a, that, that's where the tendon is. The tendon broke off right here. You see that? And you see the black is a uh, is uh, ferrous oxide blood. It's blood that's turned black. So there's a there's an arterial side and a and a vein side in all of these things. So that's the case. And if they look here's here, let me show you this. This is a lung. All right. Let me just say they're going to dig that out. And they're going to throw it away as a rock. Well, let's go look at this in a microscope. All right, this is a lung. Now buckle up tight because this is, as I move, it's going to be all over the place. Now. You see the reddish looking stuff? Now I'm going to move over towards the blackish looking stuff, which is in the lung, it goes from, from red to black because it's being oxygenated. Now that is absolutely, no question whatsoever, tissue. And you can see this here? Oh, no, that's just a rock. No, it isn't. It's tissue. Now I will show you an actual leather belt, and even the leather belt has the same similarity because any fascia is exactly like your skin, it's exactly like all of the organ tissue that wraps everything in your body. It's fully known by uh, anybody that's a, a real professional uh, medical person. And this is a problem. These uh, people that are doing all this research are extremely limited in their capabilities. They don't know how to, how to address these things because they don't understand what they're looking at. That's just, I don't mean to be mean at anybody, but that's just a fact. And they, they resent me showing them this stuff because I'm not part of their group. So, uh, you know, I'm just sorry, that's a fact. All right, here's a leather belt. There's a surface that has the regular skin. And on the other side, this is when it, where it wraps down into the, to the tissue. And that is exactly what I find in all my mud fossils. So there's no, they are, they're, they're, they are what they are, and they're just avoiding the fact because it embarrasses them. That's just a fact. And the students are being severely damaged for this. They're licensing their futures to, to, to be told what's real, and the people that, that want to be the ones that are telling them don't care what's real. I, I don't think it's right. All right, this is my website. It's been mudfossils.com. It's been there for years, five years or so. The um, DNA test is our here. There's three DNA tests. All right, and they're, they were done on um, ancient testing protocols. They use um, gene clean, ancient DNA extraction kits and so forth. It took months to do this. This was no 15 minute test and they're not, not cheap either. So there was three of them done, a 36 inch tip, which was a fingertip, uh, a lung and a mud fossil tip. All three of them tested human, 100% human. And all the negative controls came out negative. And so you want to go look this up, look it up. Bi Eaton Biolabs did the final, um, uh, whatever they do, the sequ you know, the uh, database matches and so forth. This was done by Helix Biolabs. 
and um, it's certified and uh, that's just what, what it is. Now, the rest was done, uh, the CAT scans were done by Jesse Garant and Associates and uh, what do we got here, DNA, oh and, this, and then I have a lab discussion with the guy, you can listen to the lab discussion. Amount, you can only get a certain and, amount of base pairs this. normally. All right. Anyway, you can listen to this. We had our fragment, our DNA was dense, and it were, and I take it out of the arterial passageway inside because I know where they are. I'm not taking them, scraping them off the floor. You're gonna find things, but it's all mixed up. It's that's not. I don't see any significance there. You go outside and dig it out of the ground. You're gonna get the same things. So uh, my point is, they may be digging right through the guy. Why can't they do a No one contact me. It's very frustrating. In five years, I sent all this stuff, these DNA reports to Yale, over and over and over. He still says it's nothing. He says this is nothing. I have I have stuff that it would win in a court of law, and I think it's going to end up going that way because, you know, they can't stop teaching the kids reality just because it hurts their pride. And that's what's going on here. So that's a fiduciary failure. And I don't know if it's criminal. And I don't know if a lawyer would do, do a law class action lawsuit or go after somebody specifically. I don't know. It's not my case. I'm just dealing with the things that I'm showing and they're not being allowed. And I'm not going to walk away from this. So somebody's going to have to step up and take care of this. You know, I'm going to show you this just to prove a point and then I'll leave it at that. But this is, when you see fossils that are disarticulated like this, I mean, that are, are, are completely articulated like this, they're not broken up. I can see the pattern of the flesh that they removed from this creature's body. I mean, they just took it away thinking it was not part of the fossil. They just don't get it. So, I don't know what to say. That's all I can say is what I said.